I thought we would think about electricity. Yeah, I knew it. Now, what do you know about electricity? What is it? It's it's, it's power. Mm -hmm. It makes and water lights kind work. Of suggestion it because why don't you guys work. do quick drawings of all the things that use electricity, and then we're going to see if we can figure out that, how to make some. That something. one's an Xbox. We games. Mm -hmm. We games, and there's. Excalator TV, digital clocks, which I did think. Oh, yeah. And yeah. clocks, switches, Cookers. buttons, That's computers. One. This is this is That's a, a one. I said this is a two. That's, that one is a lot of electricity. Oh, and what's that? That is an what, what does the cooker get? Three, two. Alright, well let's try and figure out if you're right. How do you know if there's CO2? Look at that. Yeah. See, there's a number on the front. Yeah. That is how much electricity right now this house is using. How, what does it say right now? 729. Okay. What happens when I do this? 722. 702. 702? Yeah. So what's happening to the number? It's going down. Why is it going down? Oh, I see now. If, when you turn things off, you can see how much they take away. It's gone up by 22. Exactly! You have a result! Yeah! Equal oh, no, no. 22! 9.46 for what? For the TV. For the TV. Alright, write down 9. And then press equals. 233. Excellent! 233. So write 233 next to the TV. Now. The kettle! Okay, so what's the current reading? Let's hit 718. All right, now hit the red kettle button, that one. There it is. <laughs> Three, four, zero, Wow, write that down there. Can you see how much bigger is the kettle's power than the TV? Yeah, yeah. In fact, the kettle took up ten times as much power as the TV. That means that you could have ten televisions on at the same time. Really? And it would cost the same amount of electricity as uh, having you one cup of tea. Remember when we talked about m molecules and yes. that little candy that we had as a molecule was as big as the whole earth? Right? We Imagine that molecule as big as the whole earth. Then we'd be looking at electrons, which would be that size. Uh, atom was the size of the planet. In the middle you'd have a tiny thing like this and you have electrons that whiz round it like this. Yeah, but how do you get electricity from there? But if you looked at a lump of material you'd find all these little atoms and all these electrons spinning round each of their little nuclei like this, spinning round and round. But what you can sometimes do is shake these electrons free and then they do very funny now Samuel's head is made up of lots of molecules that have electrons in them, and so is this balloon. And what I'm going to do is rub the balloon on his head, and I'm going to transfer some of the electrons between his head and the balloon. Okay? I don't want to lose any of my electrons. I like them. You've got quite a few, don't you? Oh, I don't, don't lose Tom. He's my favourite. And then watch what happens to these little bits of tissue. Oh, amazing! Can you do this for me, love? Hurt your head a little bit. Yeah, and you hurt a bit. Yeah, right. please don't Let's lose see. Tom. So these things jumping up was what's called electromagnetic force. And because we imbalanced the electrons, because there was less electrons than there should, it created a force and these things leapt towards... The what you can do, if these guys are packed close enough, what happens is we can put one electron here, and it bumps over and bumps over and bumps over and bumps over. And we can put one electron here, and it bumps them along. And if these guys are close enough, they can pass their electrons down to each other. And all the electrons can move through the bit of metal. And that is called a current. Electricity are these electrons flowing round and round, and electrons do a rather special thing when you put them in a circuit. So imagine, yeah, a circuit is just like a yeah. loop, yeah, like I a running circuit. circuit right? 
So here is our little loop, right? This is like the little marble run, like this thing. Yeah. This is the little loop, and we're gonna persuade all the electrons to move around this wire. And they're gonna be made to move around this wire because of this battery. Now what this battery is, it's a bit like the balloon. You know when I rub the balloon and yeah. I move the electrons? Well, there's no electrons at this, or very few electrons at this end of the battery, and lots and lots of electrons here. Why? Because there's a chemical reaction that changes the number of electrons in here. And that means that all the electrons really want to even out. They want everything to be equal, but there's a barrier here, right? They just want to be left to themselves. They want to have an equal number of electrons and protons, but there's lots here and none here. So how are they going to equal themselves out? By trying to go around there. That's right. They will go all the way around here. If we touch this wire to this battery, all the electrons are going to start flowing around here, around here, around here, really, really quickly. Oh, wow. How do you see them? Excellent question. See, see oh, the so little time. spark? Did you see it? Yes. Yeah, Those are electrons leaping, whoops, oh, leaping yeah. over the wire. Make electrons go round and round the circuit. We can make them do stuff. Like? Like lights. Like lights going. Oh, keep, keep that in there because I've got an idea. Oh, look, you see that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. wow. It's green. Oh, how yeah, do they do good. that? Because the electricity is going down this way, <coughs> across this couple plate, up <coughs> here. Really? It, it goes across here. Oh, yeah. It's, it's metal. That's why it goes across. That's right. Now, shall I show you how it becomes oh, light? Yeah. For all our electrons. Oh, Dad. Keep it moving. Oh, what's happening? They're oh, falling no. off. That's right. And when you shove too many electrons through it, the electrons pop out and they become. So look at me a second. Blink. In the time it took you to blink, electricity could go round the whole world seven times. So we can really? send electricity yeah. signals really, really fast. And we're going to try and do that. Oh no, not Hold on to that. Yay. Are we going to, is it going to be a telephone thing? It was, it's called... I'm on the air! We're going to make what's called a telegraph. To send telegraph messages. Yeah. And we have built our very own telegraph machine. Alright, Lucas, send the first letter. What's that? It was a H. Alright, yeah. write an H now. Ready? Done. You, what, what did you go with that? Was it the S? Yes! All right. Was it M? Yes! So what has Lucas said? Hi, Sam. Yeah! Congratulations! Your first message with electricity. Yeah! Now let's try another thing. Mm. Should we try Sam? <laughs> okay, let's try, try me. Oh. Yeah, touch the end of the battery. Oh yeah, the compass moves. If you get the wire closer to it. Ow, ow, ow! What's happening? My fingers hurt. Why do your fingers hurt? So there's a little field. Well, this is the weird thing. Magnets and electricity are all the same thing. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Look, we've passed electricity through this wire, and it's acting like a magnet. It's moving that compass. It's not moving. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So there's one thing that's electric that you guys didn't mention that we could also look at. Can you give us a clue? It's between your ears. Your brain? Yes. Your yeah. brain uses electricity. You know how we waved a little wire over the compass and the compass twitched? Yeah. Well, a friend of mine, he's got a little wire a bit like that, but it's coiled round and round, and he can wave it over your head, and he can stop bits of your brain working. Did he do that to you? He hasn't done it to me, but I've seen him do it to lots of people. How? So he goes buzzed over the head, and it knocks out the bit of your brain that means that you can walk. So you try and walk and you just fall on the floor. <laughs> or he waves out another bit and it takes out the bit of your brain that lets you speak. So you go, no, I'm fine, thank you. I blah, 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 blah.